Oh, check out the beanies. That is like Mary Tyler Moore, isn't it? What on earth is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? Are those hats? She looks like the Bride of Frankenstein. They look like they've been electrocuted. What on earth? Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifting. This is Mid-Century Wasting. Welcome back everyone. Today is week two of looking through America's favorite wish book, the 1968 Sears Christmas catalog or Christmas book, I guess is what it's technically called. For those of you who are just joining me for the first time, my name's Jamie. First of all, this is Mid-Century Wasted. Thanks for being here. And every week from now until right around Christmas, I am going to be flipping through about 50 pages or so of the Sears Christmas catalog. Last week, we got through page 51, and I am going to be premiering these videos every Sunday at 12 noon Pacific time. That's 3 Eastern. If you are watching this in the chat, hello, I am in there with you already saying hi, but hi again welcome and if you're watching this on replay i would love for you to join me every sunday at noon in the chat while we premiere these videos so last week we left off on page 51 we got through uh a good amount of pajamas <laughs> good amount of pajamas lots of robes there was a few little toys and things just to recap real quick, and we left off here. This is where we left off with like evening wear for women. So let's go to page 52. Oh, goodness. Oh, we're going for the uh, stewardess <laughs> look. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Jacket, shell, skirt, and dress. Add up to five stunning looks, all for only $27. Oh, I see. It's kind of a mix and match kind of deal here. Interesting. And here we've got a really nice hairdo. What did they call that? Was that a bouffant? That's actually kind of cute. This stuff's not overly dated, honestly. It's not as dated. Well, maybe that, that ruffly collar is pretty dated, but it's not as dated as some of the other things that we've seen. So I do apologize if you can hear the weed whacker in the background. Of course, there's just never a quiet moment around here. Talk about that all the time. But, you know, I rather, I rather like this blue dress. That's not bad at all, really. That's, that's not overly dated. This one's really not either. These are kind of like, uh, sort of timeless. Not bad. Here's some accessories. This is the first page of accessories I've seen. What kind of prices do we got on the accessories here? Leopard pin has a tail that moves. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. That was $4. Huh. Four and five, six dollars, four dollars. Silver bag, five dollars. Bracelet and earrings, four and three dollars. Mat bag, seven dollars. I really like that pin. That's really cool. Those are good. Those were good ones. Good as in not crazily um, outdated. <laughs> okay, black and white. Got a little, what was that houndstooth? Is that that pattern? Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if it says it. Is that number one? Yeah, that's number one. Hmm. I don't see it. Oh, well. I think that is houndstooth print. Maybe not. I don't know. What do I know? There's another just little dress. Acetate and rayon crepe. I really do not know about fabrics and things. Oval ring watch. The right time right at your fingertips. Ah, oh, isn't that cheesy? That's funny. All right, this page, we've got some kind of schoolgirl kind of look. That's not terrible. It's kind of cute. 
I could see people who are into wearing retro or vintage clothing wearing stuff like that. It's not overly crazy. Not bad. These few pages haven't been bad at all. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> all right, the white dress. Winter's fashion magic. These three keep their smooth, good looks and wrinkle shy shape because the fabrics are bonded to acetate tricot. What the heck? I guess all of these new fabrics and this whole not having to iron thing was really a big selling point for this stuff. I guess it was like new technology, new fabric technology in a way. Now that white dress right there, this one, that's pretty. I like that one a lot. That's, that's pretty classic. This one's got like a Jackie O kind of look to it. I like that one too. That one's not bad either. It's just a little, little buttons on the side are a little weird to me, but overall, not bad again on this page. <laughs> the next page is, eesh. Um, <laughs> my, my camera can't even adjust to the colors right now. It's like, there we go. <laughs> it looks like so orange because everything is so orange, but those are some, um, yeah, those are some plaids, aren't they? The, the hair, my God, that is interesting. <laughs> Here's some jewelry. Here's more jewelry. Here's some prices. I mean, these are just like shirt dresses. Is that what these? More permapress shirt, shirt shift. Ah, it's a shift. I've heard my mom use that term before. Shift dresses, interesting. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, right off, that reminds me of, like, Twiggy, right? Is that who I'm thinking of? Twiggy wore stuff like that? Maybe I'm totally wrong. The Late Show. Plays it pretty. Junior Bazaar. Oh, man, look at those. Are these more pajamas? Or is this just, like... See, you know there's something wrong when you can't tell the difference between, like, clubbing clothes or, like, pajamas. Was this stuff to go out with? Like to wear out? The late show. So it's like for evening? What am I looking at here? Was this for like going to the, the disco? <laughs> or was this to stay home and like get ready for bed? I don't know. I legitimately don't know. The mixers, two-way stretch. Colot. I do not know that word at all. That one? That one? Colot? Colote? Coolote? And pants underscore swinging? Band lawn tops? What are these words? My God. Nice pigtails. She looks like she's gonna play tennis with her high socks. Hey, somebody brought that up last week that there was like not a single non-white person in this very, very white Sears catalog. So I think we finally get one little picture of someone who's not white. So there you go. It is weird when, once it was brought up to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's true. Like this is, so I guess just how it was back in 1968, but it's, it's kind of jarring, you know? All right, party dolls. So this is party stuff for sure. I mean, these look like, that looks like Barbie clothes to me. Yeah. Party jewelry. So you had special jewelry just for parties? All right. More Junior Bazaar. Were these supposed to be like teenagers? It's kind of hard to tell. I guess so. Everyone just looked so old back then. Gosh, that fabric looks really crunchy, really brutal. What is that? Number six, princess dress in shimmery pastel blue moire of rayon and cotton. I don't know what those words are. Shiny white acetate satin ruffles, the neckline with a fill-in jabot that snaps in the back. What are these words? Wow, I don't know anything about clothing. Can you tell? Yikes. Happy holidayers that go on to all season happenings. So I think these are just supposed to be more party clothes. These are pretty bad. <laughs> Overall, 
overall, these are all pretty poor. Those two aren't horrible, but the blue one's not horrible. That's just not good at all. It's also very odd to see like a very small little person standing right between the legs of this bigger person. The way they've kind of done the, the layout here, having all these little like miniature people dispersed within the large people is very strange. It doesn't look great. Yikes. Plaid happy and in the pink. This looks like another one of those kind of mix and match scenarios where you could buy the skirt and the jacket and the pants and they could all match. And there's the dress too. These parts are made for moving. Put together your own look with plaid separates in it. In it? Why is it capitalized? Huh? Gray? Oh, light. In light gray, rose pink, and natural. Okay, got it. Why abbreviate it though? Just why? Just confused me. Ooh, this is the pink page. Play the match game. Here we go. More mix and match kind of stuff. You'll win every time with these color matchups. Sweaters are knit of a luxury blend wool, mohair, and nylon. Mohair is so itchy. Skirts and jumper are woven heathery wool bonded to acetate tricot to stay shapely. Man, they were really pushing all these fancy new fabrics, weren't they? That's interesting. That is definitely something that I, you know, didn't realize is that we haven't always had all of these different kinds of fabrics. And when they started inventing all of these basically plastic fabrics, it was a big deal, especially not having to iron. Do it up brown and white for the holidays. That's horrible. That's just terrible. <laughs> oh God, what's she doing down there? How's she floating like that? The layout is every bit as odd and confusing as the clothing. Very, very, very strange. Oh, we got a little creased page here. Let's see if I can save it. Oh, we're stuck. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. We got it. We got it, we got it. I mean, it is 52 years old, this book. So 52 years old. All right, these aren't bad. These are just some nice, oh, well, those aren't bad. They're just some nice coats. I don't know, who wore coats like that? Like on TV, put on this Mary Lewis ensemble to see how wonderful it, its fine fit and good looks make you feel. Ooh, here's some fancy graphics. Suddenly you know what luxury really is. Is that luxury? Leather. How much was a big leather coat back then? Number three. Huh. Fashionable look of antique to leather is really vinylized cotton. Okay, so it's vinyl. It's not leather. No wonder. It's only $24.90. $24.90. That's not bad. It's not bad on that page. This page is a little more... Like that one's a little more dated, but honestly, like I, I feel like I feel like people who are into vintage clothing would wear something like that still. Too bad the page is creased. Not the worst, not the best. Fifty nine ninety. Whoa. Oh, it's cashmere. Oh, it's cashmere. Fancy. Eighty nine ninety. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that was, that was an expensive thing back then. It was an expensive, nice coat. What does this remind me of? I guess it kind of reminds me of just like, I don't know, Mary Tyler Moore or something. I don't know. This is like if you lived in New York or you lived somewhere cold. I doubt they sold a lot of these out here in California. Here's another cartoon. It's easy, mom. You just sit on his lap and tell him you want a new coat. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cute. I like that one. That's a good one. How much are these coats? $109. Criminy. 
number one. That was $109. Coats were expensive. Wow. I mean, maybe coats still are very expensive. Hell if I know, I don't, I don't even own a coat. I bought a coat because I was going to New York in the winter. And that was the only reason I bought a coat. <laughs> I have, I have like ski clothes. I have a ski coat because I used to go skiing a lot. But for just going outside and going grocery shopping and stuff, don't need a coat. Oh, well that just looks like Barbara Streisand right there. That's like a Barbara Streisand album cover. Romantic pair-ups in a holiday mood. So we're, we're still in the like holiday party dress category here. Oh, we have, I think, our first African-American model. All right, very um, forward and progressive for you, Sears. I mean, 1968, that had to have been something, right? That had to have been controversial, maybe? I don't know, but we should celebrate her for a moment because who knows how, how much she had to struggle to be an African-American model in 1968. So there we go. Going out on Ruff's birthday? Is Ruff the dog? Ruff must be the dog, huh? All right, what do we got here? A clever team of separates with a knack for switching partners. Uh, what? A clever team of separates with a knack for switching partners. Okay then, so we're pushing the mix and match stuff here. Yikes. Wow, that's a long skirt. Yeah. Just lounging in my sweater. And then this, this woman is stepping on her because of the great layout work that they've done here. There's more Fortel. There's for, Fortrell. Polyester and Avril Rayon. All of these different fabrics. That's so funny. Whoa, that's a lot of yellow. Yeah, we're just all hanging out in our matching shirts. That looks normal. A bush shirt in the safari mood. Okay, that was going on a safari. All right. Yeah, that's a lot of yellow. Right now knits go right on into spring, looking great. Whoops, skipped a page. Contemporary classics. Yeah, these aren't so bad. It's just kind of normal sweaters. Super soft toppings strike a festive mood. Fluffy sweater knit of lamb's wool, angora rabbit hair, and nylon. Look at how fuzzy that looks. Angora, that's pretty soft. And then these, contemporary classics. Favor texture intrigue. Okay, here's a watch, $14.99 for the watch. Chain bracelet wristwatch. Oh, what have we got here? Yikes. Holy moly. A bit of blouse trickery in Dacron polyester crepe. Oh boy. Bow neck turns turtle turns ascot. All with a switch of the tie. Oy, oy, oy. Wow. I mean, that's just, that's normal. That's just a normal shirt. This is not normal. <laughs> that's, there's nothing normal or average or plain about this. Ooh, look at the shoes. Oh, we got another cartoon. I'm just showing Joey how your new pants stretch. Stretch pants. Was that a new thing? Stretch pants were new. Look at those little shoes. My God. Polyester. A lot of polyester going on here. All the polyester. Oh wow, those are some, those are some fun colors. Lime and bubblegum pink. Let's start with the jewelry. This is like matching earrings and bangle bracelets. Must have been popular at this time. Oh, check out the beanies. That is like Mary Tyler Moore, isn't it? What on earth is that? <laughs> what am I looking at? Are those hats? She looks like the Bride of Frankenstein. They look like they've been electrocuted. What on earth? Head warming hattery, the great pretenders. What, what in the world? 
got to be kidding me right now. That's insane. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of typical. This is not that bad. I mean, the pants are pretty bad and maybe the colors are a little bizarre, but this is next level for sure. Uh, are we seriously onto some more slippers and nightgowns? There's just going to be like sleepwear, loungewear, sleepwear mixed through this entire catalog, apparently. I guess in 1968, they were really into their slippers and their nighties. There's flattery afoot in snug fold away footwear. Ideal for travel and at home wear. All right. Oh my goodness. Stockings. This is funny. Here's something that really is not super popular the way it was before. Like you couldn't go anywhere unless you had your pantyhose on, you know? Nowadays. Look at these with the patterns on it. What in the world? I, okay, I truly have never seen this before. Iron on hosey posies to decorate these hose. So you would iron those on hosey posies. Has anyone ever heard of those before? Two pairs of hose, 10 hosey posies. Wow. All right. Never heard of that before. Hosey posies. Look at those. How funny. And pantyhose in a bunch of different colors. How much for pantyhose? Three, four bucks. Very interesting. Oh boy. Now here's some fun stuff. Look at those graphics. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, what have we got here? We have a light up mirror, vanity set with wild colors, light up makeup mirror, 787, dresser set trio, 487, perfume tray, 487. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. Here we got some curlers, upbeat instant hair setter with 10 jumbo rollers. It's got a little wand to help you roll them up, I guess. Interesting. Perfume, perfume nips of famous scents. So just kind of like little samples. Oh my goodness. Makeup, like teen makeup. Wow. New looks for lips, for lids, for lashes. Gosh, if you could find like a box of those lashes, that would be so fun. Like an unopened box of those with those graphics on the cover. That would be so cool to find something like that. Look at these. How much was it? These, this makeup, 350. Look at this. There's another dresser set. That's what they're calling these. So it's like a bulletin board and a music box and then the brush and mirror set. There's a cat one. The cat one's pretty cool. Majorette. Oh, how funny. All right, that's a cool hamper. <laughs> poodle on it oh my gosh how funny look at all this look at all this poodle stuff Pooda schnooda oodles of poodles <laughs> a trace of lace and pink dotted swiss for that special little miss oh my goodness hilarious hilarious look at all those poodles desk pad dresser set trinket box pinup board that's just too much. That's hilarious. More accessories now. All right. Girl gifts for the sugar and spice set. $1 to $7. So this is like accessories and just like little gifts for girls, basically. We've got some very nice <laughs> headwear. <laughs> Scarves. Oh my lord. What are we doing here, people? Look at this stuff. That umbrella's cute, but come on. It's oh, funny. Look at these gloves and mittens. Oh my lord, 12. What is 12? Wait, wait, wait. Torlian look. Suspenders, embroidered white tape on red wool and rayon felt. Clips adjust. Fits ages 3 to 7. Fits ages 8 to 12. You're going to put that on a 12-year-old? Make her look like a little, little Swiss Alp girl. It's like the costume for the people who work at... The Matterhorn at Disneyland. What is that? 13? Sweater guard. Pussycat face on two natural mink tail pom-poms. Pussycat face. 14. What is that one? 14. Hankies from Switzerland. White cotton with colorful embroidery. So there you go. They were going for a Swiss kind of thing. 
Got some mittens, gloves, some purses. Oh, I feel like people pick these up every now and then. Those kind of leather, let's see, 24. Envelope style bag of embossed split cowhide. Has an adjustable shoulder strap, unlined, 25. Adjustable shoulder strap bag, embossed split cowhide. Mm-hmm, some more purses, wallets. Mm, purses and gloves, quality leather gloves. How much were gloves? Oh, those ones were cheap. Some knit gloves, those are pretty cheap. Rabbit fur lining, $6.97, wow. Again, not something overly necessary here in Southern California. I did need some gloves at one point when I was having to drive to school very, very early in the morning in college. I remember specifically asking for some gloves to keep in my car because it was so freezing cold every time I would leave for school, like in the winter, really early in the morning. But um, that was it. That was the only time I've ever really worn gloves. Other than that, not overly necessary around here. How much were these purses? Or excuse me, handbags. $7, $11, $9. All made of leather. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gracious. <laughs> wow. Accessory gifts, $2 to $7. Why don't you ask Santa for one of each? Hey Santa, one of each please, Santa. Scarfs. What is that? Three piece accessory set. Eyeglasses or cigarettes, coin purse, cosmetic case. All right, interesting. Some hankies, 11. Hankies from Switzerland, 10. Safari style clutch. Oh, I guess safari style was a trendy thing. Wow. What are those, umbrellas? Four and five. Yeah, slim umbrellas. Hmm. Now, I have seen these hair dryers at estate sales. I have. And a couple times, the people working the estate sales didn't know what they were. <laughs> if they had some younger people, because when it's all folded up, it just looks like a round box and they couldn't figure out like how to open it. Um, so if it's younger people running an estate sale, that's a hair dryer. It pops open and you'd sit it on the table and, or on the counter or something and sit up underneath it. Oh, look at that one with the the bag. Oh, it's for a manicure. Oh, I thought that was one of those ones that you would put the bag over your head. Look at how expensive these were too. I mean, 30 bucks or $4 monthly. Well, you could put it on layaway. Is that what that was? Can't use mom's good dryer, but maybe this will help Joey. Who was Joey? Was Joey his little brother? I still, I, I still don't really understand Dennis and Dennis. Oh my goodness. More vanity sets. Manicure sets. We got manicure sets. These look like little gifty things that you would buy people for Christmas. Lighted mirrors, travel mirrors, <laughs> curler sets. Electrically heated roller sets will curl a complete hairdo in less than 20 minutes. Gosh, thank God for technology. Look at these manicure sets. Jeez, uh, the, all the dials and knobs and jeez. Ooh, luggage. That's fun. That's something you see, I see all the time. This is vintage luggage. Feather light. Prices and the sizes and the weights. That's pretty funny. Nowadays, weight of your luggage is probably even more important than it was back then. Samsonite. Jeez, a lot, of, a lot of technical info about this luggage here. Boy, I could sure use one of these. My old bandana's about wore out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Courier molded luggage. That was not cheap. These luggage sets were, were pricey. Wow, I like those. Those were like more affordable ones. Tote abouts. The tote abouts. Newest idea in accessory bags. Sizzle color patent vinyl carryalls. Look like luggage, act like totes, go everywhere. Interesting. And here's fine Irish linen cases. Handsome leather travel kits. Briefcases. 
those weren't cheap either. Samsonite men's dress shoes with uppers of choice Iberian leather. Uppers, what is uppers? Men's dress shoes with uppers of choice Iberian leather. Oxfords. I need two pairs for $22. And the last page we're gonna go over today. Here's page 100 and 101. We've got boots and some fancy dress shoes and some fancy accessories here. Now, yeah, these boots were made for walking, for sure. Look at these. Fully waterproof vinyl boots, wiped clean with a damp cloth, resist salt and stains. Children's, women's, women's dress boots, fully lined for warmth. Acrylic fiber by Monsanto. Acryl, acrylin? Monsanto. <laughs> what? And sparkly shoes, pump with rolled bow, soft, supple upper. Does that just mean like the, not the, I don't know. I don't know what upper means. For glittering, glamorous evenings, stretch boots. Oh my gosh, look at those. It's like a, like a fabric boot. What in the world? Thigh high stocking boot stretches way up for the ultimate in sleek, slim fit. Stretch boots. What am I even looking at here? <laughs> oh my God. And those little clutches, let's see, seven. Bag, hideaway chain handle, comb and mirror, rayon lined. So those little bags would come with a comb and a mirror. That's interesting. Wow. Well, there you have it. We're gonna stop there for today. We've gone through another 50 pages of the Sears Christmas catalog. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of funny stuff in here again. Next week, same bat time, same bat channel, 12 o'clock Pacific. I will be flipping through another 50 pages or so. And I think we're starting to get into some really fun stuff here. So I hope you can join me. Thank you for joining me in the chat if you are in there today. And if you missed the chat and you're watching this on replay, that's cool. Just leave me a comment down below and we can still laugh about some of the stuff that we saw in here. Until next time, bye everyone. Bye.